Given the following graph, letter A, evaluate f of 4. All right, so um, what I wrote down here is, again, uh, two ways to interpret these two statements. First, let's deal with evaluate f of 4. So you want to interpret this evaluate f of 4 as find the value of y when x is equal to 4. I know 4 represents x because remember, the functions are usually written as f of, let's say, x. So whatever this f of blank is represents the number of x. So when it says x, excuse me, when it says f of 4, this is saying f of x and f is 4. Excuse me, and x is 4. I'm confusing myself. So, so in any case, we know that x is equal to 4. Okay, so for letter A, we know that x is equal to 4. So go to your graph, find where x is 4. So it's right here, right? And you can draw now a vertical line because this vertical line represents all the locations in which x is equal to 4. Now there's only one point in which x is equal to 4 intersects that graph, and that is where y is equal to negative 3, right? I can draw that horizontal line now, and it passes right through y is equal to negative 3, right? So I know this, when x is equal to 4, y here was equal to negative 3, okay? And that's your answer, right? Negative 3. So you can write it this way, y is equal to negative 3. You could also write f of 4, meaning the function's value when x is 4 is equal to negative 3. Either, either one is fine. doesn't really matter. Let's take a look then at letter B. So letter B now says um, solve for f of x equaling 1. Now you can think of f of x as just your y value. Okay, that's what I have over here with the little tip. So think of f of x as y. So basically it's telling you solve for x when y here is equal to 1. Okay, so that's how I want you to interpret If you look down at the bottom, solve for f of x is equal to 1, reinterpret that as find the value of x when y is 1. Okay, so now we know y to be equal to 1. So where is y equal to 1? Well, here it is, right? This is, this is y equals 1, so I'm going to draw a nice little horizontal line. Okay, this line right here represents y equaling 1. And then what is the x value that corresponds? Well, just locate where it intersects the graph. Well, it intersects this blue graph, right, right at 0, actually, when x is 0. So I can draw a nice vertical line straight down if I wanted. And now this vertical line, okay, where it intersects at this location represents x equaling 0, okay? So that would be the value, all right? So x is equal to 0. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.